Hello guys, this is Shreve Rakub. Our today's topic is the question of financial management, previously known as F9. Question name is CSZ Company, and this is June 2014 attempt quiz. Okay, let, let's read the requirement first. Calculate the working capital cycle, the cash collection cycle of CSZ Company at the end of the March 2014. And discuss whether a working capital cycle should be positive or negative okay calculate the target quick ratio and the target ratio of sales to working capital of C company at the end of the March 2015 the next year analyze and compare the current assets and current liability position for March 2014 and 15 so that means we have to compare the current asset and current liability of both of these years and discuss how the working capital financing policy of the company would have changed okay the last part is uh, no more relevant in the cr part because it is from the risk and it will normally be tested in ot cases okay let's read about the question the current asset and current liability of c company at the end of the March 2014 is inventory is given, receivable, payable and overdraft. Net current assets are given. For the year to end March 2014, company had domestic and foreign sales of 40 million. This is the sales level. This is cost of sale level. Train payable are related to both domestic and foreign supply. For the year to end March 2015, company has sales at the same level. And cost of sale has fallen to 60% of the sales. That means it is $24 million. Company expect current asset to consist of inventory and trade receivable, and current liability consists of payable and overdraft. Company also plan to achieve the following target capital ratios value for the year end to 2015. Inventory days, receivable days, payable days, and current ratio is given. Okay, let, let's calculate the working capital cycle at the end of 2014. This is part A. Let's calculate the inventory days first. We have to calculate the inventory days. Okay, instead of solving here, let, let's solve it on the word. Okay, I need a table here. Table here, 2014. First is inventory days. And how to calculate inventory? It is sales, cost of sales, sorry, 26,000. First of all, take the inventory that is 5,700. Triple zero is being round off. 26,000 into 365. And that is equal to 700 equal to 80 days. Now, let's see, we build days, and that is equal to 6575 is the receiver divided by sales 6575 million into 365 60 days and the last is payable days okay payable days will be calculated uh payables are 2137 2137 divided by 26000 into 365 and that is equal to 2137 divided by 26,000 into 365, that is 30. So, working capital cycle is working capital cycle is equal to 80 plus 60. So, we will add inventory days receivable days and we will deduct the payable days and answer is working capital cycle is 110 days okay in this part there was a theoretical question that discussed whether working capital cycle should be positive or negative obviously it depends upon the inventory days and receivable days if inventory days are high and if receivable days are high 
and payable days are comparatively lower definitely working capital will be positive and if we receive if we did not hold any inventory and if we uh, sell on cash and if we delay payments to payable definitely working capital can be a negative figure but it all depends upon the nature of industry in which you are operating like in a manufacturing industry working capital cycle is normally a lengthy period because there are three types of inventories involved raw material work in progress and finished goods and then receivable in a retail industry normally working capital is a positive but in 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 some type of industry like uh, some cash cash supermarket in this typical supermarket industry working capital can be negative because you do not hold your own inventory normally supplier has provided you the inventory and you normally sell on cash and you normally sell on cash so there is no inventory days there is no receivable days but normally you will pay to your supplier after a few days so working capital can be negative in that typical industry so it all depends upon the nature of industry that how you can compare the working capital working capital can be positive or negative but in order to compare the working capital you should compare the individual companies of a same industry okay b part calculate the target quick ratio and the target ratio of sales to working capital at the end of march 2015 okay sale is given cost of sale is given so we need to calculate inventory days receivable days payable days and with the help of current ratio we will calculate the overdraft okay let's calculate let's make another table here obviously separate sheet will be provided in exam it's 2015 data first of all calculate inventory then calculate receivable this is current assets then payable overdraft this is current liabilities and then net working capital okay first of all calculate inventory um, inventory days are given inventory is 60 percent of the sale that is 24 million okay 24 million is cost of sale into 20 into 60 divided by 365 and okay let's calculate it this will be equal to 24,000 into 60 divided by 365 that is 3945 3945 okay what about the receivable you will calculate receivable by 40 million into 75 divided by 365 and that is equal to 8219 H219. Obviously, we have rounded off all the triple zeros. So current assets is equal to 12164. Okay, what about the payable? Payable is payable is 24,000 into 55 divided by 365 
and that is equal to 24,000 into 55 divided by 365, 3616. If current ratio is given, that is current asset over current liabilities. That means current asset is given 12164, current ratio is given 1.4. You can calculate current liability. And that is equal to and that is equal to 8689. So this is 8689. So the current liability is 8689. And 12164 minus 8689. 3475 is the networking capital. 3475 is the networking capital. So what about the overdraft? Overdraft is 8689 is the total liability minus 3616 that is 5073 5, and what about the requirement and requirement we need to calculate target quick ratio and sales networking capital so let's calculate the quick ratio quick ratio is equal to receivables 8219 divided by current liability that is 8689 so 8219 divided by 8689 that is 0.95 so this is 0 0.95 is the quick ratio and what about the sales to working capital ratio Sale is 40 million and working capital is 3475 and that is equal to 40,000, 3475, it's 11.51, 11.51, that is the answer. Okay, in C part, analyze and compare the current asset and current liability position for March 2014 and 2015 and discuss how the working capital financing policy of C company would have changed. So, let's calculate, let's make a comparison of both of these. Let's insert a table again. This is 2015 data, 2014 data, and we have to write here the inventory. Okay, this is the data of 2015. So let's write about all the data here. Now copy all data of previous year from the question what about the inventory 5700 5700 okay what about the payable 2137 2137 and what about the overdraft 4682 4682 okay 12275 12275 what about the current liability that is 6819 6819 and 5456 5 four five six so that is the data of 2014 and 15 see the data current assets are almost at stable position almost at stable position okay what about their financing in 2014, 
$6,819 was used as a financing for the current assets. It's like if we divide 6819 divided by 12275. So that means 56% of current assets are financed by current liabilities in 2014. And in 2015, 8689 divided by 12164. 71 percent of the current liabilities are current assets are financed by current liabilities so in 2015 71 percent of current assets are financed by current liabilities and mainly the change is in over in, in payable overdraft is increasing by if we compare 5073 minus 4682 divided by 4682 so overdraft is increasing by 8.3 percent about but there is a huge difference in payables 3616 minus 2137 divided by 2137 60 payable is increasing by 69 percent so there is a gap here in 2014 56 percent of the current assets are financed by current liabilities in 2015 71 percent of the current assets are financed by current liabilities and major financing is uh, because of payables there is a big difference 60 payables are increasing by 69 percent Overdraft increasing by 8%. That means company is overly relying on short term liabilities. That means company is moving towards aggressive policy. Okay, that's how you're gonna solve this type of question. Thank you so much, guys. If you have any inquiry, please contact me.